All right, so today we'll be having a look at how do you deploy uh, an app on Google App Engine using your Google credentials. Um, in this video, we'll be using Google App Engine Launcher. In one of our upcoming videos, we'll be also using the Windows command line, uh, the CMD prompt to actually deploy an app. So the first thing that you should do in order to deploy an app is you should go over here uh, on cloud.google.com and sign in using uh, Google credentials. Um, so I'm going to sign in using one of my Google credentials. Right after you have signed in, you should have a prompt which uh, changes from sign in over here. Okay, I don't know what happened. Why it didn't sign me in? Alright, so now I'm signed in. So now you can see that sign in changes to go to my console and sign out options. So over here you need to click on go to my console. So once you are in your console, you need to actually go ahead and create an app. It says create project. So remember this particular project ID or you can actually define it yourself or you can have it um, randomly generated by Google Apps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it like that and I'm going to give the same to my project name. It's not compulsory but I'm just going to do it for the sake of it. And I'll do I have read and agree to all terms and service and click on create. So now you will see it says uh, that the creation is in progress. You can do see all activity and that then it will show you over here. It's currently being created. So uh, this particular project has now been created. Now we can go back to list of projects and as you can see over here the project has been created. I'm going to copy this name. Um, basically you don't need to copy the project name but you need to actually copy the project ID because that will be the same uh, name on your Google App Engine launcher that we'll be now using to create the same app locally on our own system. So now I go over here. Um, over here I have the option to create new application and inside the application name I'll enter the same as my project ID and in the directory I'll just mention uh, documents, my documents and I'll say Google App Engine. And I'll say OK. So this can be any folder. Whichever folder you select that will be the parent folder and inside that another folder will be created by your project ID. The name of that folder will be project ID and inside that project ID folder will be all your files for this particular project. So let me go ahead and create this. So now it has been created as you can see over here. Now if I want to deploy this to this Google account of mine which is deepsukhwani3589 at gmail.com I go over here and click on deploy. It asks me for my email and password. I can enter that over here. Okay, that's done. And now the prompt comes. It says deployment to Google. Alright, so as you can see, it is now started showing starting deployment. Checking if deployment succeeded. And now it seems it has been successful. Okay, great. So it has exited with code 0. That basically means no errors. Anything other than 0 means something wrong has happened. So it has exited with code 0 and completed update of this particular app, first infinity 816 on Google App Engine. So now if I go to this particular URL, first hyphen infinity hyphen 816.google.com sorry not google it's appspot.com that's the domain google uses for its app engine users it says hello world so now um, let me actually go ahead and uh, open a file google app engine first infinity and main.py so right now it says hello world let me actually go ahead and change this to uh, say Hey YouTube, what's up? So obviously if you make these changes and run this app locally on your machine, you can view these changes live. So if I run this app on my machine and even in the logs it will show me. So this app is currently running on 
port 10080 so if I go to localhost and then 10080 it says hey YouTube what's up so that is the thing that I created over here now say if I remove this exclamation mark and add three periods and if I just go over and refresh you can see the change over here live exclamation mark was replaced with three dots so that's how you do it on local but now if we want to deploy these changes on Google App Engine so that the same is reflected on our actual server that is accessible anywhere uh, on the globe using internet um, you just highlight this particular app that you want to deploy go to deploy again it asks you for your email and password enter those things and then click OK now in the logs it should show you the deployment uh, status updates and the file changes that are being made so it says uh, uploading one file in blobs uh, one files in blobs compilation starting okay great the deployment has been successful alright so that's done now if we go ahead and refresh this particular URL we should have the new message which says hello hey YouTube then three dots space whatsapp three dots let me refresh this and there you go so that's how you basically deploy an app on google app engine using google app engine launcher in our upcoming video we'll be also having a look at how you do this same thing but this time um, instead of using google app engine launcher i'll be using um, the command line appconfig.py uh, oh, by the way, uh, I'm using Google App Engine for Python. Um, that's Python is what I know. If you guys are using Java or something, I think it's as far as App Engine Launcher thing is concerned, it should work in the similar way because you didn't actually interact with the programming yet. The only place where you interacted with the programming was over here, which says "Hey YouTube." But over here, I didn't actually do anything related to Python. I just simply changed the message that was being displayed. This is the only place where I made the changes. So this should actually work even if you are using um, any other language with your Google App Engine. So great. Okay, that's it for this particular video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If it helped you, please like it. Please share it with your friends and colleagues and on your social media accounts and all. And please, please, please do subscribe to my channel. If you have any suggestions, do drop them in comments. And thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Stay tuned for more.